Hey, President Trump set to sell two victory in 2020. That's based uh, not from one, but three different economic models highlighted in the New York Times this weekend. Fox News contributor Dory Murnock joins me now. I got to tell you, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> These are the kind of articles that are rare for the New York Times, but you will find them in the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so you have a, a professor from Princeton, uh, Ray, Ray Fair, who, by the way, has an extraordinary track record. Mark Zandi, who is really a brilliant guy, left-leaning, however. Twelve models all say Trump wins. And Don Luskin, who we have on our show frequently. And they all use different methodologies to come to the same conclusion. The economic juggernaut is sure to get Trump in if it holds. That's correct. And it must have pained them to publish this article. But uh, what it basically shows is not only these three different economic models uh, show that President uh, Trump on the way to re-election, but also the power of the incumbency. Remember, since World War II, the only presidents who ran for uh, re-election and didn't win uh, essentially were uh, Ford, Carter, and G.H.W. Bush. The others all got re-elected. So the power of, the, of incumbency is strong. And if the economy is where it is now or better, uh, I think the path to uh, re-election looks pretty smooth. Those are still cautionary tales, though, because at one point they were doing pretty well, you know, uh, the, Bush senior, uh, Carter, uh, and then the, the economy started to go off the rails at the last minute. George Bush actually blamed the Federal Reserve for his loss. Uh, that's true. Well, Carter's economy is in really bad shape with inflation, the energy crisis and everything else. Uh, GHW Bush, Bush's big mistake was, uh, read my lips, no new taxes, and you raise taxes. Uh, President Trump has done the opposite. He's given us the biggest uh, tax cut in U.S. history, and you've seen the results, 3.2% growth, 3.6% unemployment, uh, record low black, uh, Hispanic, and Asian unemployment. I think you pointed out last week, black wages up 9.5% since President Trump uh, came to the White House. That's no, a, it's, it's been tremendous, the, the tremendous. same tide has lifted all ships with, without a doubt. Now, that said... Very positive. I, I think it was the work from Fair who's saying, hey, President Trump would win by a large margin, 56 percent, except there is an intangible, and that's his public persona, uh, and that might shave some of the numbers off. Are you concerned about that? Yeah, I think, look, uh, people need to separate the substance from the style. If they focus on the substance, he does very well. If people focus on the style and the Twitter and the bombastic comments, that sort of thing, that gets in the way. I think the best thing you can do is just calm down. Use Twitter for positive announcements, not lash out quite so much. Let right. his underlings do that. And I think uh, he'll sort of rise above the fray and, and will do very well come 2020. Real quick, DeRoy, I got less than a minute, but uh, President Trump tweeting out about uh, Joe Biden's support of the 1994 crime bill and a mass incarceration of, of black people thereafter, particularly young black folks, saying that this is going to sink his candidacy. What do you think? I think that uh, President Trump ought to talk about his signature on the uh, a criminal justice reform bill that uh, he signed last December. This is something Black Lives Matter and a lot of black activists were pushing, and this is to put an end to this mass incarceration of black folks. This is a very positive story. He had a knock on black doors. Talk about that. Talk about the record low black unemployment, uh, what he's doing on school choice, what he's right. doing on, on uh, historically black colleges and universities. There's a very good story he has, and if he can get 20% of the black vote, he wins hands he down. He has to do it himself, though. No one he else needs to do it himself. The media will not do it. And he has a very positive story yeah. to tell. He shouldn't be shy about it. He should go out and start talking about that nonstop between now and the election. Roy, thank well. you very much.